Hey, good Tuesday morning to you guys. It is the day after Martin Luther King's Day here in Washington, D.C., which is a federal holiday, so government is slowly getting back to work. I don't think the Congress is doing much today. Marine One came in last night late, like 8 or 9 o'clock. It was way too cold to go out and see that. Uh, today for me is car day. My car gets back from the auto body shop a month after the wreck. So we're going to dump the rental car, then we're going to take the subway, go get the new car, and then we're going to go out and film. Let's go. So rather uniquely, I didn't rent this car at the airport. I actually picked it up in the city at the Hilton. So uh, we're going to go return it at the Hilton. I tried to return it to another car dealer, another car rental place, and they said, oh, the drop-off fee will be $400. I'm like, it's 15 blocks from where I was going to do. That's what the computer says. Ugh, I'm stupid. Okay, car rental dropped off here at the Hilton Hotel in Washington, or as the locals call it, the Hinckley Hilton, because this is where the attempted assassination of President Reagan took place, just down the side. Now, a bit over 40 years ago, yeah, I'm feeling old, the attempted assassination of President Reagan took place right where this garage is, but this garage wasn't here at the time. This was a post-assassination addition. They added this as a way for the president to get in and out or any other VIP to get in and out without being seen. John Hinckley was waiting with a group of media guys right over here on this curb. In fact, they've got a plaque up here now. This is a national historic place because of the assassination, March 30th, 1981. Reagan came out of a door over there and was walking across the way to his car and that's when the shots rang out. Reagan was put into a car, rushed to GW Hospital. Hinckley was tackled in a mob, a mosh pit of Secret Service and police. Police officer, Secret Service agent James Brady and the president were all shot. James Brady eventually died 20 years later or so. And I think they technically classified it as a homicide. The mayor's order extends to restaurants, gymnasiums, and adult entertainment venues. You have to have a shot if you want to go in here. <laughs> Across the street here is the subway station. You can see they're building a rather large awning over the escalators. The reason is they found that the weather was destroying the escalators such that it was cheaper to put up this big awning, keep the rain and snow off the escalators than it was to replace the escalators every so many years, especially when the escalator is this big. Whoa. Welcome to the Washington Subway, where the original uh, director of the Metro system really, really liked earth tones. <laughs> That's why pretty much everything is brown, brown and clay colored. Beatles played their first American concert right there in that building after the Ed Sullivan show. We're back in my car, back behind Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> Gotta have that from the dashboard. Anyway, let's try not to wreck it as we get back up to the Capitol Hill. In the hey, you know what I just realized? If I'm in this part of town, this is roast beef part of town. Time for roast beef. So right over there is the Brentwood Road Post Office. This is the main post office for Washington, D.C. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. But it's here that two post office employees died from a terrorist anthrax attack. There's a small memorial right over there to those two postmen who were. Uh, but across from Brentwood Road is not anthrax, is roast beef, the best roast beef in DC. Let's go inside and get some. God, that was a good roast beef. Anyway, while I was having roast beef, I got a note from some of the helicopter spotters that a car has attempted to ram the U.S. Uh, Congress barricades outside by the Supreme Court, uh, 2nd and East Capitol Street, which is not far from here. Uh, the bad guys are in custody. The helicopter went up, but wasn't even needed. So let's go down to 2nd and East Capitol and, well, let's see what we see. Whoa, the whole intersection is still closed. 
Let's park the car. So you can see the gun on the ground, guys, underneath the passenger side. Now this guy. So guys, that's just your garden variety DC carjacking ending in a car wreck. It just happened to end next to the Capitol, which means there's like a dozen cops everywhere. Uh, let's go over to the White House. Let's see what else is going on in DC. Poor fire truck. You'll be back soon. Man, the snow and ice the other day really wreaked havoc on these trees. You can see all these branches had fallen down and the winds and the ice from the storm the other day. We had really, really bad winds last night. I was surprised Marine One even came in. They were having gusts up to 50 miles an hour and a steady wind of about 16 to 18 knots. But hey, the Marines, they're impressive pilots. So we're at the White House. Let's go take a look. Oh, interesting. You can actually see one of the construction trailers in there. And it's got a big WT on that. I think that's Whiting Turner, which is the prime contractor for the South Lawn uh, renovation, the conduit program. W-H-I-T-I-N-G Turner. Let me see if I can get a closer look with the other camera. There they are. Whiting Turner is a big government contractor. They do a lot of construction projects, including uh, work at like sensitive facilities like the Pentagon or the CIA or the White House. I believe for this contract, which was about $19 million, uh, every person had to have background checks and the whole project had to be completed at the secret level of classification, which is, well, not that high a level, but still not an open project. And you can see, oh, well, they've got a wooden uh, walkway. Can you see this like wooden pathway that goes across here? That might be where the conduit is underneath or that, or they just ran a uh, digger over to the other garden. It does sound like there's some sort of big heavy equipment over there in the garden by the beehive. Ooh. Let's go, oh, let's go look at this fence. Now it just looks like a tree. Yeah, I mean, it's a Christmas tree, but there's no Christmas spirit or anything like that left. All the little Christmas trees are gone. They're picking up all the portable walkways. And eventually, I guess they're going to reopen this and you can just walk around, maybe-ish. Oh, so you can see, you see the fence right over there? It's the same kind of construction. Cinder blocks with plywood hoarding on the top. And that's what they've used all along on this side for the White House fence project and whatever other project is going on underground, which I believe is the conduit project. But a lot of you are asking, why are they using cement? Well, it's just Jersey barriers, or you Californians who are too trendy to call them Jersey barriers, K-rails. <laughs> so there are K-rails with plywood on top down here on this little portion of the South Lawn where they've got the fence project and that underground conduit project. But let's go around to the North Lawn, because that's what you guys all want to see. So we've swung up around to the North Lawn. It's still pretty darn cold. <laughs> let's see what we can see. So there you go, guys. There's the East Wing, and there's the fence. You can see the Jersey barrier on the bottom, and then the plywood on the top. Pretty much the same thing we just saw over on the South Lawn by the fence project. There's the West Wing, and the project doesn't continue. It's just this little area up here the fountain. Someone said it was to block the view. Well, it does block the view of the door, but to be honest, there's some bushes behind there. It's pretty hard to see the door anyway, even on a good day. Eh, the spotters are up there somewhere. I see their tripod set up. Don't see them. The Marine? I think he's over there. Yeah, I think that's him right there. We'll get a better view when we walk around. Anyway, that's what I could tell you. There's a close-up view of the Jersey barriers. And the plywood's got that little sort of decoration on it, really. They painted it all white. I think they painted the inside white as well over the last few days. There's the Marine. You can just see his white gloves and his white hat standing in front of the door. So here in front of Blair House, this tree has been down for about a week. <laughs> I guess they're just waiting for all the storms to blow through and then they're going to clean up all the trees. 
or maybe they're still having a jurisdictional battle about whose whose responsibility it is to clean up in front of Blair House. A lot of you are asking about the snow. It's basically gone. There's a little bit of this plow debris. We've got uh, a couple more inches due this weekend, though. I think Thursday night, Friday, it's supposed to snow again. There's a steam vent from the government's uh, steam system, steam distribution network that runs under this street and provides steam and chilled water to all the buildings. And there is the old executive office building, now called the Eisenhower Executive Office Building, and by some really, really old timers, the old state building or the old War Department building. But I think anybody who still calls it that is like really, really old. So guys, I'm at the Watergate Hotel and I just got an alert that there is a man with a silver handgun pointing it at passing cars uh, like two blocks up the road. <laughs> Let's see what happens. There goes the police. Park police vehicle just took off on Rock Creek Park. Let's see what else is going on. Now there's a lot of homeless encampments over here on the right sure if that's related. Where'd the cop go? Hmm. Well, this is where it took place. This bridge up here is Pennsylvania Avenue. And uh, this is where the first incident took place. They also had an incident at the Memorial Bridge. But, uh, I don't see any cops at this time. Nor do I see any bad guys walking around with guns. Unless it's farther up. Alright, we'll see. So guys, that was my day, yeah. It started out pretty boring and ended up seeing a gun and, well, other weird stuff. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. We make these videos every day. Subscribe if you haven't. We will see you tomorrow. In the meantime, take a look at what I made yesterday. Bye. Do, 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 do. Hey, you made your own thing?